bring game, taking no that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season off top, you stop breathing. Hey yo, hey yo, what it do, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, your boy King P, Bodega P, but it's boxing in the building. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm your captain for tonight. So, uh, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yeah, what's good, Joe? It's your man Pat Scorpio, the New England representative, man. And uh, yeah, man, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good idea for him to do the host because yeah, I got, I got to get my stand on, you know, with this, with this topic for tonight, man. Bye. So, so stay tuned. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm gonna need my man Pat today to try tonight to try to control himself a little bit. So, no chairs <laughs> flying, no chairs flying across the room. So. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying let, let, let's let's have a nice clean fight tonight so because I already know there's gonna be some arguments um you know I got my other man with me I'm gonna let him introduce himself hey what's fly it's conscious pot west coast avenger number one contender preparing for liftoff let's fly bodega ringing radio you know what it is hey pilot's here he's elevated you know what I'm saying so prepare for liftoff because you know you got definitely definitely got quite the topic but i got my man other man with me last but certainly not least i'm gonna let him introduce himself yo you already know who the fuck it is it's your boy ron top five in the building chicago's own ring gang stand up we here nigga hey rome chicago wins leaving these niggas in the breeze so yes sir okay so you know the gang's all here um today is not Tonight is not a boxing night, so you know. What I'm yeah, saying? so LB out there, he's he's in the kitchen making muffins with an apron on. You know what I mean, <laughs> so, no Shutterworth tonight because you know he he decided to take the day off while we discuss another real nigga sport. Yeah, <laughs> football. So you know, what I'm saying unless you've been living under a rock, um, you know that next week we have the grandest grandest football event the grandest sports event of them all the yes, super sir. bowl you know what i'm saying super bowl is not just a sporting event it's an event event you know what i'm saying it brings out everybody i don't care who you are if you like football if you don't like football most people like to watch the super bowl even if they don't watch the follow biggest thing on tv every year it's the biggest thing on tv bigger than the grammys nigga bigger than the oscars it's the super bowl nigga Man, nobody watches the grammys anymore what are we talking about <laughs> <It's> like- <laughs> <laughs> it's like the party of the year, you know. It's like you know that, you know, it's yeah. a tradition. You know? Yeah, I mean, even, even if you don't know who's playing, even if you know who's playing the Super Bowl, like I mean, I always see like the softies on my Facebook, the ones that don't know nothing about the what, who's playing, and they're talking, they're, they're excited about Rihanna playing or there's oh, oh where's, the, where's the food and shit like that, the commercials you know? and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coachella of sports. Even if you don't know shit about Coachella, you know what's going on. You feel me? Yeah, exactly. You know, because I mean, truthfully, I mean, what, I mean, a Super Bowl, like, what, what, what else, what else would you watch? You know, what I'm saying, like, I mean, so I mean, the end. This is where the NFL, you know, gets it gets its huge wins every year because, you know, they always tune into when the Super Bowl happens, everyone tunes in. You know, the advertisers, you know, they pay up to like a million bucks for for like 20, 30 seconds of airtime and shit like that, and. You know, you get you get the halftime shows, you get the celebs, you get all you know all types of n- n- analysis going on different networks and shit like that. I, I think it was last year. Um, there was bets for literally for the halftime, who's gonna appear first, what color shoes Snoop Dogg was gonna wear. It's like the most yeah, that, even, even yeah, even it's, it's gotten to that type of shit. It's, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> yep. So you know, what I'm saying we they like the Super Bowl halftime shows, the you know the performances, or we like to criticize them and laugh at the people performing so yeah and, and i've criticized a hot i mean that i mean a lot of these halftime shows truthfully ain't shit anyways like you know uh, what i mean last year was wrong i can't even I'm, lie. i mean i'm not gonna lie ever since titty gate it's gone like they it's, ain't it's gone down the fuck hill like you know ain't, what I mean? nothing, ain't nothing stopping that wait y'all niggas was grown when the titty gate happened right i was yeah, yeah. i was 14 I, I was 14 I was in college. I, yeah. I was like five years old and I was in shock. I, I was like my first titty. <laughs> I was, Janet Jackson's titty was my first titty, nigga. And my, 
My mom was shocked. She was like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. I'll never forget it because I'm sitting there watching the Super Bowl. I'm just sitting there and I'm like, yo, I don't know if that shit was supposed to happen like that. <laughs> that nigga ripped his her titty straight out. Yeah, I still remember that shit. That, that was the that was the that was the Pat's Panther Super Bowl. Yep. <laughs> that was my first titty. Shout out Jenny Jackson. Yeah, you know, and yeah, I was just like, what the? Yeah, I remember how much. And, for, and for, I think, truthfully too, I think that's how YouTube got birthed too, because niggas were kind of frustrated about not being able to find the clip. So that's how YouTube was born. Give her heels. Go figure. <laughs> how, did, how did niggas really react to that shit? I, I, I it mean, was I, all over the fucking news, like yeah. literally. Like I remember it was after, I knew, after the game, I went, I, was, I went online and shit like that, and it was that was like the talk, like all the sports forums, the forums I was on at the time. Like that's all that niggas was talking about. Anyone that had a screenshot and shit, like it was wild. Like the niggas act like you never saw a titty before. Like it, it was that type of wild. Whole scandal. It was a scandalous time, bro. Like no, because you know that because you know because there was no seven second delay or whatever the fuck it is now. So yep. Yeah, I was a kid. I, that shit. I ain't know. <laughs> I, I just knew what the fuck happened right there. I was thinking about Janet Jackson titty for years, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> She gave you some poetic justice that night. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it's been a while. But uh, so, you know, let's talk about, you know, the the, the big Super Bowl today. This is going to be a, a epic one, an epic one, because for the first time in five years, two, the both number one seeds are in the Super Bowl. And we're talking about the AFC East champion, sorry, the AFC champions. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs and the, and the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah! Oh my gosh, this guy. All yo, right. nigga in the corner somewhere, yo. <laughs> this nigga. Yo, y'all ain't got Nick Foles, nigga. All right, so let's uh, <laughs> let's see how we got here. So let's start with the with the AFC. Uh, the AFC was the one where everybody, you know, wasn't quite sure because there was more. I mean, the Chiefs were the favorite, but you had the the, the Buffalo Bills. F them. Cause I don't like them. A- hey, AFC was that. And, and the Cincinnati Bengals. And the Jags, too. The Jags were, you know. Jaguar scary. Niggas were scared of them. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, because they made a late season surge. Yeah, so. the niggas run, run for fucking 200 a, a night. Shout out to Doug Peterson for turning them niggas around. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, and and they almost they almost pulled it out against the Chiefs if it, like because Mahomes was hurt with his high ankle sprain. Yeah, that's where he got that shit. That's where he got that shit injured. It's like yeah, like the Jags were the Jags had their ears pinned the fuck back in that game though. But yeah, it's just yeah, I, I was rooting for them too because you know because you know the Jags. I mean, I always thought I always thought they they always got shafted the last time they made it. They got they had a deep playoff run. You know, so I was like, I, I wanted, I wanted them to upset the apple cart, but then I knew this is the NFL, and I know NFL is not gonna let no ja- Jacksonville Jaguars get in no Super Bowl. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, man, I had no doubt the Chiefs were gonna get in, but the Bengals, you know, they had their number. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they were they were close because I mean, first off, a lot of people weren't even sure Cincinnati was gonna get past Buffalo, and that I mean. Yeah. It seemed like everything was scripted for the for the Bills, you know, especially with the Demar Hamlin incident, and then the whole fuckery with the uh, the the tiebreaker and you yeah. know the playing at home and all that, and it was just yeah. So and, and the Bills and the Bills were darlings early on, you know, they blew out my Rams to start the season, and you know, there's a lot of hype for them to finally, you know, for Josh Allen to get an MVP and all that bullshit, you know. Yeah, yeah, but they should. The bro, what they with the Bills, but they can't progress in the fucking playoffs. Is it? They're well, playing. Well, the- Pat won't like this, but the Giants coach Dable, you know, he was their offensive coordinator for years. Um, I, I think that plays a role. And Josh Allen also getting hurt. Um, that, you know, that rumors of him getting in Tommy John surgery or something. He ain't played the. He ain't played the same ever since that injury. Or, you know. I, mean, I don't think he. See, I, I don't think he tore his UCL. No, but he like, a little fucked up. He could tell. I mean. I mean his elbow probably was a little messed up, but if he really hurt his UCL, I don't think he would have been playing because we saw what happened with the 49ers with Brock Purdy. Purdy. Yeah, yeah. No, he had, he had he some kind of play. injury, though. I mean, you know. So, but, you know, 
Um, and then that AFC Championship game between the Chiefs and the Bengals. That was a horribly officiated game, but it, uh, that had yes. to be the worst. Yeah, that was. I mean, the Eagles. You know, Eagles game was pretty bad too. But this one, this one takes the cake. That's the most worst refereed game I've seen in a long. I mean, it was everything. The Bengals lost that more than the Chiefs won that. But the last yeah. call was right. The last call was correct. The last call was clean. Like he shouldn't have done that shit. He was clearly I mean, out of. <sighs> we're both out of bounds. It, it was mean, the right call to make. It was the right call to make. It was. I mean, it, but, especially the, especially against Steph Curry of the NFL. It was the right call to make. But, yeah, but Mahomes definitely. I mean, Mahomes got pushed, but he definitely played that shit up. And the referee is like, "Okay, all right, young boy, I see you there. Let's tack on this 15. You know, and then you know that was all she wrote. Yeah. That was, the, that, that was a game-ending penalty. <laughs> by the by, the letter of the law, it was the right. It was the right call, but I didn't like it. Like, yeah, no, it, it was fucked up though. Because, but yeah, you know, you yeah, because you like because you, you're not supposed to. I mean, in today's NFL, you touching the quarterback like that is an automatic fifteen. You can't especially in a playoff run. Pull the quarterback into the benches, like nigga, you're gonna get called for that, whether well, you tripped and fell or whether you pushed them maliciously, nigga. You are gonna get called regardless. It's yeah, like the yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, why, that's what I don't like. Like some of these calls. It's like they almost expect you to defy the laws of physics. It doesn't work <laughs> like that. Like you just can't stop your momentum and just like he he was probably like he was already making the motion to push him out of bounds before he got out of bounds, but by that point it was kind of too late. It's one of those split seconds afterwards cuz I didn't feel like it was too long afterwards that he that he ran out of bounds, one two, got the push and like like it kind of happened in in like in sequence, it didn't feel like it was way too late. But that nigga, you know. that nigga, two hand tags his back. He he really he really knocked him the fuck down. Like yeah, he, he did. That's that, and the referee's gonna call that every single time. Yeah, I mean, you, tried, like, to hurt, tried to hurt him. You can tell. Like, no, I mean, I mean, I mean Mahomes, Mahomes sold it like a prime HBK, but you know he did. The get, issue did is, see, see, my issue with that is not even with that call. It was not too long before that. The same thing basically happened to Burrow, and they didn't call it. Well, Burrow they got didn't... hit three times that game. What? <laughs> and he wasn't running. No, but <laughs> no, but that was when, like I'm saying, when Burrow went out of like there was a player, I believe, when Burrow was going out of bounds, and he got hit when he was in, when he was in out of bounds, and they didn't call it. So I believe I, I think he still had one foot in or some shit like that. But it's. Mahomes was clearly out of bounds and he was giving himself up. Wait, hold on. All you need is one foot to be out of bounds and you're out of bounds. So, like, right. yeah. If, if you two feet clearly out of bounds and you right in front of the ref and you gave yourself up, it's it's, it's an easy call. Like, I could have made that call. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that they didn't make the right call with the Mahomes call. I just want a little bit of consistency. And yeah. that game was horribly officiated. <laughs> Even it's too many different reps, nigga. Them, all those niggas got all different sets of odds. I, 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 I saw the I saw the black referee with no facial hair way too much <laughs> on, <laughs> on, 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 during that game. Y'all know what I'm talking about that one ref. He, yeah, he loved yeah. he loved me to come up. Like seen on TV. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he like yeah. being on. TV. That nigga love making calls, but so, hey, I'd rather them make calls than not make calls, nigga, and let the niggas get killed out there. Right. Um, now the Chiefs are back in the Super Bowl, and I believe the, the how many like how many times has that been for Mahomes that now that he's made the made the Super Bowl? Hello, I think it's three appearances. Yeah, it's three now. Because it was like he made like four out of four out of his six years he made the, the AFC it's championship. The championship, game. yeah. They've, so they've, now, now he has let's to be play. real though. Let's be real. This team is nowhere near as talented as his other teams, nigga. That's also true, and yeah. not as healthy either. <laughs> this, is, this is true. I mean, Mahomes himself is not healthy. Yeah, and so, that's, it, it, I mean, but it, get, it also get, works. Oh, go ahead, oh, what well, he gonna come back and look like? But yeah, he banged up, nigga. It's been a long season. Eighteen, I mean, and this time it's not the offensive line; it's his receivers. All his receivers are banged up too. Yeah, the knees, pelvis, concussion. Like e- e- even e- even um fucking Kelsey has a back has back issues going, but you know he's got to tough it out. But because that's that, what nigga, that nigga is throwing to Scantling and fucking three practice squad niggas. Well, like, oh, he made he made he made MVS look like a fucking like Randy Moss out there. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, 
and that, and that's the one thing. Like, there's few there's few quarterbacks in the NFL that I I actually say I fear. Like, you know, and Mahomes is one of them because that dude makes a lot of something out of nothing, which annoys the hell out of me sometimes. But their play calling is their play calling is like the craziest. They have like the craziest playbook in the yeah, world. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. I mean, Uncle Andy Reid team. Like, I mean, I, I mean, Eagles team. The the Andy Reid Eagles team. That same shit. Like, I mean, he just brought it over to the Chiefs. Except the Chiefs, you know, just had the weapons for him to actually produce and finally get, get him another ring. So yeah, it's like, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not. Even, I'm not even surprised on that. But it's just like Jesus Christ, Mahomes. Like. Like, like, he, like, like, once he starts getting into his little group, he's hard to stop. No, that dude's the best talent I've ever seen that quarterback. I, you know, I'm gonna say it's a goat, but that's the best talent I've ever seen at the quarterback position. Yeah, no, he, yeah, he, he's a crap, but, but now, like I said, he's handicapped because now, because, you know, he, he has a high ankle sprain. You don't, you don't shake those off. You should, you, you need at least six to eight weeks to get, to get, to get, um, to shake that off to, for that to heal. Right. And they're making this motherfucker like run on that shit. Like, I mean, no matter how treatment is gonna, do like, I mean, every time he runs, he feels that shit. <laughs> and look, look, with the questionable running game that they got, all the Eagles are gonna do is just let the dogs loose on Mahomes and make that nigga throw. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get That's to that I, now. But. Pacheco be Pacheco be running his ass off though. He be running like every, every time his ass run. Every he, run, he runs viol- He runs violently. He's yeah, he runs hurt. violent. Man. So, but uh, so you know. The Chiefs are in. Now let's talk about the NFC uh, game. So nobody, I don't think anybody expected the Eagles to be number one going into this season. I don't even Except think Kyle himself expected the Eagles to be number one. Um, Except me. Oh, no. I don't even think you really believe uh, that. Of course I did, nigga. The fuck? I mean, because uh, uh, obviously if, on my personal IG, from the first victory, because I have what we call people what to call an annoying little clip I like to play. You know, whenever the Eagles win, followed by whatever choice message. In fact, with the exception of only one game, I've I've either posted that clip or I've re- or I've referenced the loss. The only the only time I didn't post anything about an Eagles anything was the was the Saints game because I was just so horribly disgusted about what went down in that game. I didn't I didn't mention its loss. I was just like, you know what? Let me not talk about it. So I'm getting heated. But yeah, since week one, I always kept on saying, you know, from the first one, the fly Eagles fly. With a clip it of the McFadden and Whitehead's Eagles classic, you know, Eagles version of Ain't No Stopping Us Now, you know, from the old, from the Eagles 1980s playoff run when they went to the Super Bowl. And I play that shit all the time, every single time. See, that's so. crazy. Because when the, when the season first started, I thought Washington was better than y'all niggas. Oh, hell no. Let's yeah, not- hell no. Get the I'm, fuck out of here. I, I mean, the only one that I think like, it, it, it was either going to be uh, Philly or Dallas. And I thought Dallas was going to come out of the NFC East on top, but mm-hmm. they did not. It, it, was a, yeah, it was apparent early for me. I mean, I, I thought, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to say I picked the Super Bowl, but I did kind of call Super Bowl early on because I just I had a feeling. Um, you know, the Vikings were hot, but you can never trust Kirk Cousins. Yeah, oh, Vikings, no, they, they, they were pretending never trust Kirk Cousins when it matters, you know? Yeah, they, they were pretenders. They, they, had, they were part of the worst 12 4 team I've seen. And, and, of course, it showed when they were bounced out of the playoffs and wild card by the Giants. So by it's the like, Giants, yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the Giants were did did uh, overachieve this year. I will say. That. Oh yeah, they yeah, sure that's... how they sure the fuck did. Yeah. You know, they had, they had Giants fans talking reckless to me. I was like, where the fuck was this coming from? My brother is a <laughs> Giants fan. He was talking reckless. I, like he he uh, he used to send me all types of uncouth messages. Like, it, Jones look was looking nice as fuck in that one game with the, when he did the Statue of Liberty and shit. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He ain't it though. Nigga, super nice. Nigga ran for 80 yards. Niggas was like, yo, Daniel Jones is the next Mahomes type shit. Like, nah, nigga. That nigga had a good game. Yeah, uh, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so yeah, but to me, it was either, it was three teams, really, for me. It was like that I thought had the chance to make the Super Bowl. It was either the Eagles, of course, with the overwhelming favor, or it was either going to be uh, San Francisco or Dallas. And well, da- Dallas and San Francisco basically took each other out. So yeah, well, I mean, San Fran, San Fran wasn't hot. San Fran had a mean late run when Purdy took over because them niggas lost to the fucking Broncos this season. Niggas don't eleven to ten. What kind of what kind of shit score is that, nigga? Like oh, that was this, a terrible. That was a terrible game. Nowhere, I thought. <laughs> that was a terrible game, yeah. yeah no, but I mean, the Niners, that McCaffrey trade, I think they were 12 and 1 after that McCaffrey trade. So that, yeah, I mean, the McCaffrey and then I mean, the Niners have too many weapons. I mean, I, fuck, 
yeah, I, I thought that game was gonna be good. Yeah, <laughs> but see, I, uh, I see. I, I was getting tired of the Purdy hype. I didn't think. I thought Purdy was being a little overrated because he was the Mister Irrelevant, and it was like he played. He played he good. Played for good the man. He played good. No, I mean, he, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. He played good for the most part. However, <clears throat> I felt like at that time the forty nine, like he was more lucky if anything because when he started, like all the game in all the games that he started. The 49ers had a 20 to 2 t- uh, giveaway takeaway ratio. So 20, 20 takeaways to two giveaways. So of course you're not gonna have to do the, do much when you're when you're getting as many turnovers as they did. But then the turnovers start come stop coming, and then Purdy like was just not playing it. Like he like the last couple games he should have at least three to four interceptions. Like, but look. Look, he was he was doing good, but honestly, you could have put twenty eight other quarterbacks on that team, and they would have done pro- the same or better. Of credit to Shanahan being an offensive genius that he is, exactly. Because right. really, I mean, doesn't really need a quarterback. You need somebody to snap the ball. Well, I mean, that wasn't the case <laughs> against Philly. <laughs> yeah. that, well, ex- <laughs> they made you, they made that shit seem like they don't need that shit. They need a real quarterback, but for real. That nigga, all he did was snap the ball. If they, if I mean, look, you, I mean, anyway, I mean, Purdy has two playoff wins now. Like, you know, he knocked off Seattle, who snuck into the playoffs, basically, and then knocked off Dallas, you know, which, of course, the Cowboys fans were all pissed about. Like, they're still pissed about that. If he well, wasn't I, hurt, if he wasn't hurt, I swear, they would have knocked off the Eagles. Nigga, it's shut true. up. What the fuck is you talking about? They, they, nah, they, nah, 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 I don't think so, because the week before, he showed... Flashes of being, you know, a rookie last pick of the draft, and um, you know, I mean, there were flashes. Yeah, he did what he had to do, but yeah, just, except that Dallas was just too fucking struggled. They just couldn't yeah, put anything to fucking together. Dallas, I'm, I'm, I'm Dallas fans. I'm always partial to Dallas, but they just never. <laughs> the, the script's never in their favor. Yeah, but Purdy, <laughs> but Purdy's hype ended within four of the first four plays because it's like you know, it's like you know, what happens if you if you know if you if, if you put consistent rush on that nigga and what happens? You know, Reddick Reddick tore you know blew his UC, uh, blew dude's uh, UCL out. So that's what happened. You know, you know, it's, it's I mean it, it happened. I mean he's a rook. You know that I mean, he'll learn from it. And you know, unfortunately, he's getting the Tommy John surgery from what I understand. But you know, it's it's football. It happens. And then you know they go they go and then Niners going with Josh Johnson, who I can't believe no. is still in the fucking league. <laughs> Man, uh, throwing straight bombs to the sideline. I'm yeah, like, did, yeah. I'm they like, yo, who the fuck is that? They was like, yeah. you know, he been out of the league forever. He almost said black quarterback. They was like, yeah, played in twenty five teams. I'm like, nigga, has he gotten in the game on twenty five teams? Like, <laughs> yeah, it was it was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then and then of course he was so. Know, yeah, he, you can see he was so scared out there. Every time a nigga oh, yeah. from him, he just yeah, no, yeah, yeah, because yeah, you know, cause, yeah, because dude wasn't expecting to do anything except sit on the bench and collect the check. He wasn't expecting to go play the NFC Championship game. Like, like this thing. He was like, "Oh shit, what am I gonna do?" And then he, <laughs> he didn't even run a play. Yo. <laughs> yeah, Every no, he was. Play, he had to throw that bitch out of bounds. That shit was hilarious. I'm like, yo, this shit is. <laughs> They, y'all niggas really got a free win. <laughs> Nigga, we, 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 I mean, you can't. I mean, it wasn't like they injured themselves. Like we took their, we took their quarterbacks out. I mean, this, it, it happens, nigga. Like, yeah, they, they, they would have. I mean, I think the Eagles would have won that anyway. I mean, I'm pretty. I was confident in the Eagles and Chiefs both get both, both getting in, in the Super Bowl. Um, but I mean, yeah, Jalen Hurts didn't play that well, but I expect him to play much better. Come to yeah. you know. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, this season definitely showed the uh, first of all, number one, the, the massive improvement from Jalen Hurts and how the offense flows through him. Because the two games that he did not play, I mean, well, the Cowboys, we almost pulled it off against the Cowboys the second time around. But then, like I said, the Saints game was so bad, I think it probably killed Minshew's career. A little bit. I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, I was thankful that because I was tired of that Minshew mania. Enough yeah, so was I. Like he played good in the Cowboys game. I mean, I'll give him. He played pretty well in the Cowboys. Yeah, game. like I mean, yeah, the Cowboys game. Like you know, I, I, I mean, yeah. Other than a few mistakes, like I mean, dude few played mistakes. his heart out. But the Saints well, game, like yeah. you can't, you can't have all those fucking weapons and score and only manage to score fucking ten. Like no, yeah, bro. Like yeah. Philly, Philly. I mean, Devontae Smith shown he's a true number one receiver too. Him and AJ, you know, obviously AJ Brown's number one, but yeah, AJ Brown's yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
it, it, it was just great to have you know it, it was great just to have a, a core again because that was always one of the biggest weaknesses of the Eagles. We didn't have no wideouts except for except for 2017 when we had that little run. You know when we had like wideouts that were actually producing. AJ you know, Brown, well, Brown was the, AJ Brown was the clear number one receiver. No, I know, I know, I know. What I'm saying is, Devontae Smith has shown, you know, like he can, he's a number one receiver. And they still that. ran. They still, they still operated through the run more than the pass. Yeah, no. Oh, Sanders yeah, yeah. all went fucking crazy. Sanders, Boston Scott, you know, like, like the, the running game was was insane. And was you, y'all DBs are crazy. I mean, y'all got a crazy pass rush and like y'all got crazy depth you can, you of, of good yeah. quarterback. Yeah, our, like our, our, our true weakness is our special teams. Like our special teams is not shit. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, like you know, I, I don't know what the fuck. Our special teams used to be like you know serviceable or good, but now yeah, that's a y'all weakness. had Deshaun Jackson for years, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we did, but now I mean, now but if Deshaun Jackson now his his whole thing is you know he, they'll sign him, he'll play good for maybe one game, and then he'll sit out. "Quote unquote injury and collect the chest." And, he's know. been up for a minute, but he's one of the best deep threats I ever seen. You know, like yeah, no, yeah. He, he was y'all special teams. He was y'all punt returner and y'all kick returner. Well, I mean, he wasn't the only one on that shit, man. Sproles was one was was another one. You know, we oh, had yeah. Darren Sproles. What happened to that little nigga? Man, I mean, injuries got to him. Like he retired, man. He retired. You know, so it's like. You know, but, but at least though in the off season, like the Eagles put off so many like monster moves. Like the funny thing too is like even if they win the Super Bowl, they got a top ten pick in the draft. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like every like the Eagles made a lot of moves to get to to for where they are right now. You know, getting Sue out of semi retirement, all types of shit. Like you know, just you know, it, like I mean. They 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 put together a team to actually to win some shit, and it showed in the playoffs too. Like, I mean, we thrashed the Giants in the divisionals, and the Niners got thrashed in the <laughs> NFC Championship game. So this nigga like, so happy, nigga. Fuck the Eagles, nigga. I mean, I can't. I I, I mean, like like I say though, because it's just like, gee, because I mean, you know, I I didn't expect that type of dumbness. But then, like I said, I mean, even I was in doubt because we had to clinch the one seed in 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 the in the final week. So did the Chiefs, I think. But yeah, it was just like, you know, we really had to get Jalen out, you know, and it's because you know your dirty ass Bears caused that fucking injury, nigga. Hey, watch your mouth, nigga. Nigga, they drove that nigga's shoulder into the ground, nigga. Like I saw that shit. You think I don't see that? Dirty? Hell, nigga. You don't think I? Don't, you don't think I don't see a dirty play when I see one, nigga? I know a dirty play when I see that's, one, that's nigga. That's the Bears defense. You can't fuck with it. There ain't no fucking defense, nigga. You niggas is dirty, man. You should have told the line to protect them better, nigga. He wouldn't have got hit. Nigga, nah, 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 nigga, no. Nah. That nigga just took that shit and drove that nigga. Like I saw that shit, man. You know, <laughs> he, 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 he didn't. He, he, he was extra with that shit, man. You know, it was, and it's fucked up too because like now Jalen, I mean, his shoulder is clearly not hundred percent. Because in that Niners game, what was concerned to me is like the throws were they were losing zip, and you could see dude grimace. Like you know, dude was like he dude is tough, but you can see him like with struggle on his face. If I think he wasn't struggling when he was throwing the deep ball, but I'm talking about like a short ass pass or a fucking yeah, screen or some uh, shit like that. A bullet or a laser, he got to try to zip between defenders. He yeah, and, and and you could tell, and it was coming out like it was coming out so so much like it was coming out duck, and she was quacking my nigga. So I was just like, fuck. <laughs> that nigga got one more game to grimace, so he can he got all off season to you know work on that shit, nigga. Oh, there's no, there's no, there's no doubt, there's no doubt in my mind that he's, he, he, I'm pretty sure he's going into surgery. Like, there, there's something, something's not right with the shoulder. It's, it's, it's definitely, I mean, yeah. something's definitely he, fucked up. He, 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 he's, more, he's more accurate. With the, he's more accurate with the deep ball, but you know that last game he was missing bad throws. And usually, he's yeah, yeah. And that, and that's why I was least happy. The run game though was now so refined that it took over, and then in, 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 in it took over against the team that was like the number one against the run. So, <clears throat> but I think I think by then they were just demoralized and they were just like, you know, we have no QB, we're not we're not doing anything. So yeah, I think that I think mentally they kind of fell apart, allowing us to have the run. And I don't think it's gonna be in. I don't think the run uh, Chiefs run D is anything home to write about. I don't think this, the secondary sure yeah, uh, is. No, I mean no, they could be run on. So I think uh, I think it might be better for the Eagles that if uh, hopefully for them it's rabbit season, not duck season. If you catch uh, my drift, right. no, no, but, but hear me <laughs> right. out. Hear me out. Chris Jones might have one of those games, man. That motherfucker's a demon. 
and I can see that. Yeah. I mean, but he, if they keep, he could have Von Miller night, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, off the edge. I don't know. That motherfucker was he was a damn menace um against the Bengals. He was killing. Exactly. Well, I mean, that's that, yeah. Well, the, well, the, the Bengals have a shit O line though. That's the problem. The Bengals. I mean, yeah, the, the Eagles have man. like Lane Johnson, who's 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 playing with a torn groin. I don't even know how that motherfucker's even playing because you know this dude must get shot up with something. Like, you, there's no way in hell you can play. You know, play, and, and he but still like no pressures. Like he he's allowed no sacks since like 2020 or some shit like that. So and, tr- and trust me, pilot. Just how me and you were thinking about Chris Jones wreaking havoc. I guarantee. Them niggas are over there scheming up how to fucking isolate that nigga and keep him away from anything that they're running right now. They're not gonna let he he caused too much damage in the last game for them to let that, him to do that twice in a row. So they yeah. already they already coaching against that shit right now. That's true. Yeah, it's a brutal sport though. I mean, both quarterback, yeah. both MVP candidates, you know, yeah. both hurt as fuck. <laughs> no Burrow gets sacked, nigga. I could have went out there and had six sacks on that nigga. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and actually, and truth, and truth, I, 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 truthfully, I wanted the Bengals because if we had, if if we if we, if we had gotten the Bengals, I we I, I'm I, I would I would even be like I would even I, yeah like the Eagles are winning. I men have career nights on the Bengals, nigga. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I, I want I want the Chiefs to win, but I feel like the, like y'all have a better chance, Pat, against the, the Bengals than I don't know. The Chiefs have just been there. I don't know, but yeah. I mean, yeah. but it, the storylines are crazy, you know. Um, Andy Reid back to his old team and the Kelsey Bowl, two MVP candidates, you know. Top, yeah, see, the good thing is too is like they're they're pushing the you know it's the brothers, but every time I mean, I, yes, this is first time they brother that Kelsey's are facing each other, but you know it's the other brothers really, like it's the brothers' brothers, like you know we're not talking about you know it's it's the brothers. first time for the first time ever we're gonna have two black quarterbacks in the Super Bowl at yeah. one time. Not in, black history, in black history, man. And, right, yeah. and, and and people need to shut up. Oh, what well, does matter about race? You know how oppressed you know it'll trickle down. Black quarterbacks never got a fair shake for years. <laughs> you know, like you know, it's like only now you know they're getting an actual chance, like a, a true chance. You know, right? You know, Jalen. I mean, had been hearing a whole. Had been taking some shit. Mahomes at least has to, you know, because he's he's biracial, so he kind of gets the protection, you know, from a lot of the stuff. And for things too, although in recent times though, like I guess his his blackness is getting more confirmed ever since his daddy came on there talking about he's smoking on that Joe Burrow and that shit. Smoking went on that Joe Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like, niggas 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 are not calling. Yeah, Mahomes is black because well, I mean, black some people so, and some people and others have been like, well, well, he's got a white wife and a, and he oh, was no. like. Yeah, and he was like uh, telling people stop <laughs> resisting dead. arrest, taking up like being put oh, yeah, back, well, way back. But his dad's a baseball player. Like, I, I've been known that, but you know, I, I follow sports. <laughs> but, you know, people, yeah, most, nah, most, nah, I knew who his daddy. I, I played with his daddy in the triple play baseball game, oh, so shit. I knew who I knew who he was. But I was thinking, yeah. like, how do you? I mean, you don't think he was black? I mean, are people being stupid on purpose? Oh, he's black. He's black. No, I, I know, but I mean, the people, the people like playing dumb. Like he looks clearly mixed. <laughs> I'm just saying, like. <laughs> Yo, no, yo, Pat, yo, Pat. Let me ask you this, nigga. What's happening? Mm-hmm. Which was your uh, favorite quarterback out of these two of the Eagles, nigga? McNabb or Hurts? Because McNabb was my nigga. I mean, McNabb. I mean, I, 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 I easily say McNabb because McNabb has the body of work, man. I love. I, love, I, love, I was. I was never a McNabb guy. Huh? McNabb should be a Hall of Famer. McNabb. Yeah. I mean, no, McNabb. I know he's true. You know, McNabb, I mean, got a lot of shit, you know, for a lot, especially in the fucking Super Bowl in the, in the, you know, that they went to, you know, and even right though it was, so. it was fucking close, you know, it was a fucking close ass Super Bowl. But, you know, for whatever reason, McNabb took a lot of grief for that shit. Because yeah, he's a choke artist. Like, he underperforms in the playoffs. Sorry. Yeah, I I fuck with it McNabb. Is. He was like one of the first really good black quarterbacks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, no, McNair was better than McNabb, and they no, he McNair. wasn't. Culpepper yes, he was. was. Dante Culpepper was my guy. I thought he was the one. Dante but- Culpepper was cool, but he was kind of trash. Co- no, Culpepper. I was- Culpepper had the biggest statistical fall off, like of any. Like he went from like from 04 to having like a, a like a MVP season where he threw almost 5,000 yards. And like forty touchdowns to the next year, he threw like fifteen hundred yards and six touchdowns. Did right he get like injured though? Yeah, I think he might have gotten injured too. But that, like, that even from, uh, Tennessee, Vince Young, nigga. 
Vince Young, yeah, forget that nigga, man. Fuck Vince Young, man. Fuck him. What? Yeah. What do you mean, nigga? N- n- the nigga played on the Eagles, bro. This nigga, like, this nigga, like, nah. This nigga talking about that dream team shit, and this nigga had, we didn't lead us nowhere, nigga. Fuck he that nigga, the man. Eagles? I didn't even know he went to the Eagles. Yeah, he, he, he got signed as the backup, and then he's like, "This is the dream team." <laughs> and then yeah, yeah, he was the dream team, and then this nigga, and then now he's out of the league, broke, nigga. Like, yeah, Vince Young was a. I jinx. was a Vince Young fan, and he got you know, fuck Jeff. Let's put it this way: Sam Bradford was a better Eagles quarterback than that nigga, man. What? And that's and that's not even cap. That's no, true. It's the truth. It's the truth. I don't even know I'm he was a like, Rams fan. I, I, I trust me, I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you definitely know he that one. Best year, he had his best year over there. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 facts. <laughs> That's straight facts, yo. Yeah, no, Vince Young was trash, bro. I'm sorry. Damn, I mean, he, he was he was in, on Tennessee, nigga. In Tennessee, he he was winning games. You know what I'm saying? But Jeff yeah, Fisher's but, a, Jeff Fisher's. A, yeah, I'm not gonna say what he is, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, but. Not going to lie, of, of black quarterbacks, these two that are playing are pretty much cream of the crop, nigga. Hey, uh, let, let me ask y'all real quick, not Pat, but uh, P and uh, Rome. Do y'all, would y'all say Jalen Hurts? I know he played like a top five quarterback, but is he a top five quarterback right now in the league? No. Hurts? No. Okay. okay. He's up there. He's close, though. But he needs to continue. Top, maybe top nine, top eight. But really, nigga, quarterbacks are shitting on Jalen Hurts. Hmm. Yeah, like Lamar. I mean, this, Lamar's better than Jalen Hurts. Right? Lamar, nigga, don't make me talk about my Bears because I like Justin Fields a little bit. Fields, that, Fields ain't let, it. I don't want to hear nothing about those damn Fields being better like, than nobody. On, Fields got like, flashes. I'm not going to lie. Fields got flashes. Better, like, he got better. better he got better, way better feet. Way better feet. But let him get a year to develop his arm and we'll see. Next year we can have that same conversation, nigga. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. I'm not gonna hold my. But either way, I'm not gonna take no comparisons to him over fucking hurts. Hurts beat him. Fuck it, you know. Get out of no, here. I'm, that. I'm not saying now, but I can make an argument. You I can make an argument for Justin Fields, but there's a lot of good quarter. Joe Burrow yeah. would you take Jalen Hurts over Joe Burrow. No, Mahomes. No, I don't even Herbert out. Herbert's a nice, way nicer quarterback than J- J- Jalen Hurts. Herbert is the one that's a little bit overrated to me. Yeah, yeah. Is it, Herbert is a social media quarterback. Stop. It. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not. You know. He's, yeah. I, he always yeah, chokes. He chokes, bro. He always. Yeah. I used to watch the games. I'm not gonna lie. He sure as hell took games. against the fucking Jazz. That's for damn no, sure. It's <laughs> like when I, I know it's going to Portland and watch his game, you know, like Portland, but you know, Oregon yeah. games. He'd always use his legs. I didn't see him because he broke the touchdown record. He had a great rookie year, but you know they've been he trying to find. Trying to He's not clutch yet. It could be the coaching. We don't know. But I still like. I would still rather have him on my team as a starting quarterback than Jalen Hurts. I'm not dissing Hurts. I'm just saying there's great quarterbacks in the league that are above him, nigga. Right. Yeah. Because Herbert has such a resume in the playoffs, right? <laughs> nigga, this is Jalen Hurts' resume right here. What the fuck is you talking about? Yeah, he's he's still, still, better, he's, he's still, still done more than Herbert so far. <laughs> okay. Okay, but okay, Josh Allen, better quarterback. Okay? Yeah, yeah well, Allen's been fucking up though. I'm not gonna lie, Allen be throwing picks when when he shouldn't. <laughs> I like Allen; he's talented. But. Okay. Yeah, Allen got clean some shit. I like Allen too, but he's got clean some shit up first, like you know, because there's no way he should have been bounced out like he just did, like like he was this year. So, I'll yeah. give you. I'll give you Dak Prescott. I would rather have Jalen Hurst than Dak Prescott. Man. No, that's not saying much anymore. I used yeah, it's like- not saying much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, everyone knows Dak is, tra- <laughs> Dak is trash, nigga. I'll give you that, but I it ain't no way I'll pick Hurst over Mahomes. I don't know. Mahomes- yeah, Mahomes. Nobody <laughs> would. What are we talking about? Mahomes is literally the GOAT. I, I, I ain't trying to D-Rod. I'm just saying that this is, yeah, he's, he's the best quarterback. We already, class. we already know the quarterback situation right there. All right, yeah. so uh, what are we thinking? Let's uh, I'm gonna send it around the room, see what we are thinking for the Super Bowl. Uh, Pilot, what you what you thinking? What what's your uh, thoughts and who you got with it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I love both teams. Um, you know, I, I've I've always been partial to the Eagles because I liked Andy Reid and he always you know with the black quarterbacks. You know, I've always pulled for them low key. Um, you know, but honestly, I can't go against Mahomes and the Chiefs. Um, I think the Chiefs. You know, they might be a little less manned, you know, in regard to, um, you know, Eagles have more talent on the field. So it's going to be a great game. But I just think 
you know, Mahomes is going to win another Super Bowl <laughs> this year. And um, I think he'll probably get Super Bowl MVP. Maybe Chris Jones might have more, like that Vaughn Miller against the Panthers type thing. But um, I'd say <laughs> the Chiefs are going to win for score. Are we doing scores? Yeah, put out a score. Uh, 35-31, Kansas City. Damn. Damn. Mahomes going to be to be lit on Sunday, huh? I'm hoping. <laughs> God damn, nigga. If that's the score, nigga, nigga. I'm going to I'm gonna have to start buying drinks now. <laughs> All right, Rome. What you got? What you Give your thoughts. Okay, so this is a good game we're going to have, nigga. We got Mahomes, Jalen Hurst, Eagles, Chiefs. I feel like, yes, like, like Pilot said, the more talented team is the Eagles. More experienced team is the Chiefs. I feel like with Reed and Mahomes and their scheming, this game is way closer, even though the talent is is so different. Like though there's weapons on the Chiefs side, they're gonna be able to overcome that with the coaching and the play calling and whatever their their keys and whatever they gotta do. So this game is gonna be super close. I was edging Eagles, but I feel like experience and coaching is gonna get this shit done. So I got I got the Chiefs in this one, and I, I would say it's gonna be a close one. Uh, twenty four twenty Chiefs. Rome top five, nigga. I'm out. Hey, you okay. know what's funny too? I also just forgot to mention too. Like Sirianni was on the Chiefs. I mean, Andy Reid did fire him when he took over. <laughs> yeah, really. Did, did, yeah. They, did they ever did they ever coach together or no? I don't remember. Oh, I, I know it's because Sirianni was on the Chiefs. I I, I, uh, I forgot. I remember what, that. Though, I remember but that. but Reed did get rid of him once he took over. Uh, he might take that some way, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, that's another. Yeah, that yeah, I think that's the that's the one that's not that's an angle that's not really talked about for this game. <laughs> Man, for for all y'all talk about Andy, it's, it's funny hearing y'all talk about Andy Reed, uh, Roman Pilot, because it's like. I don't think y'all remember that Andy Reid, for as great as a coach he is, he kind of also underperforms in the playoffs sometimes and like <laughs> yeah. chokes away some games with his bad. Like yeah, he, has, he has some, he's a he's a gambling game. coach, but I like that because that's the same way I think. I'll be like, fuck it, let's go for it. No, nah, it's, it's not only being a it's not only really being a two times type shit. Like, I, be, I like that. He's it's a not only being a ga- It's not only being a gambler. Like he has some of the worst time management skills I've ever seen. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what and that's what got him booted from. That's why I finally got rid in the in that la, in his last Eagles season. Like there was a whole bunch of yeah, he, yeah. He he was like a nightmare toward the end of his run there. And uh, honestly, that's kind of funny because like I feel like a lot of these coaches have horrible clock management skills, and I'm just like, how? Like I could do it. Like maybe it's because I played so much Madden that I but, could, like but do the clock know, management better than them. You know what it is? A lot of these head coaches now are previous offensive coordinators. So the niggas are so in the playbook, maybe they're less invested with time management than they should be. But the niggas are calling plays, looking for the next play. They don't they looking at players, pulling up players. They they barely thinking about that time, I feel like. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah, and, and cause that's because why, that, that's yeah, why they got- yeah. Is with the other jobs, that's some other niggas' jobs to be calling them plays. But when you the head coach and the OC, you kind of you know stretched a little bit. Yeah, and then and that's what, of course, the, in this last season, that's where we went, we 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 went fucking four twelve. Like that was a horrible year, you know. Like you know, it, it was horrible, and he was just he was just wild and confident. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, P has a point, <laughs> you know. But the Chiefs, but then the Chiefs though, with the exception of maybe like one season, like that dude has been fucking ridiculous on the Chiefs. You know, well, not, I mean, it helps having Mahomes, but you know, yeah, even before Mahomes, like I mean, D, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, do well. I mean, with, yeah, he did well with Alex Smith as his quarterback. Yeah, he got a lot of mileage out of Alex Smith. You know, so much where I, I even respect Alex Smith. You know, even though people start shitting on him, like you know, but you no, know, like he he got a lot out of that dude. You know, but um. But we have with this game, and obviously, you know, me being an Eagles fan, like, you know, this is, I'm excited that these niggas are back in the Super Bowl five years after the first win, you know, and truthfully, we, I, like, I didn't see us going back that soon, you know, because 
we had like from that team where we had different QBs, different coaches, a whole bunch of different everything, different players. Like there's only like six players on the team now that from that 2017. With all so, that Christmas bullshit, I never thought y'all niggas were gonna see it again, nigga. I'm like, yo, yeah, in front of these two, yeah, I mean, Jared, what I wanna do? Yeah, it, it was like between that, like we had, like our QB situation was a mess because we 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 picked Jalen, we didn't know what is what he was gonna how he was gonna pan out really. Um, yeah, Carson quit on us. A lot, of, a lot of the players that at was, one point on the roster, y'all had Jalen Hurts, Nick Foles, and Carson Wentz all at one time, or no? I don't think I don't, I don't think we had Nick on the on the roster with Jalen at the same time. I, I don't think I don't think we had I don't think we had those two. I mean, we had Carson and Jalen at the same time, but I don't I, think I like that quarterback at one point. I'm like, yo, who the fuck are they gonna play? Right, you know, so I mean, but yeah, when they gave the keys to Jalen, it was just more like, you know, I mean, you know, the first season was like, okay, cool, you know, we got into the playoffs, we got on a nine eight, you know, a, a nine eight record, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and then you know he does this, you know, it, it proves like greatly to a point where he's a legit MVP candidate. So, you know, like just the fact um, the offense flows through him, like you know, he's a he's a legit dual threat QB. Um, you know, I mean, I'm, 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 so I'm glad that he's actually he's, ha- he's having such a breakout year in the season. But of course, like Sid Mitch Four, he's injured. Like his shoulder is not, his shoulder is, is fucked. And I'm, I'm sure after the parade and shit, if the Eagles win, he's gonna go into surgery along with Lane Johnson, some other probably some other players <coughs> to get some shit, get, get some shit fixed. But um, the the thing for the Eagles have to do is they have to get pressure on Mahomes. Not necessarily blitz that dude, because if you try to blitz him, the motherfucker turns into fucking Houdini. Like, nigga, he, he does all types of... Travis Kelsey in the middle field wide open somehow every time. Yeah, he's one, he's one of the... If you blitz him, he's gonna kill you. So you can't... You can't. You have to get pressure on him. You have to make him, like, use his legs because his ankle's fucked up. That's pretty much the thing, because, you know, if, he, if, if, we, if we keep him running, he's not gonna have time to be thinking and trying to be Houdini all of a sudden, because... His, his his the the receiving core is banged up with various things and <clears throat> so Kelsey's gonna have to probably do like the Kelsey's probably as a tight is probably gonna be like the his de facto receiver and those two be connecting frequently so um I, but I think Kelsey can actually be contained I mean he was he was contained pretty well in the in the in the um. Yeah, no, he was he was contained in the in the AFC Championship game. Like he wasn't that much of a factor, but you know he was a factor. So I think I mean that's like the big thing. And then of course we got to te- we get, we got to test that secondary. Like the Chiefs secondary is terrible, it, or average, you know, somewhere somewhere in between. So like our, you know, so if Jalen can at least throw a couple deep balls without grimacing, like you know, we can score on these dudes. But like I said, just the X factor is just Mahomes, it, and and of course the Chiefs. The Chiefs' special teams is is far is way better than ours. Like, like them the, the, those cats are like uh, the special teams is uh, those are silent killers right there. So, um, but I just think that the Eagles have do have more talent that are healthy on both sides of the ball than the Chiefs do. Um, but I also think it's going to be a close game because Mahomes, you know, it's, he's not going to let these he's not going to let these like these dudes like. Like be completely out of it, so I'm thinking like the score is probably going to be Eagles like 34, 31 ish type of score. Um, so that's my prediction. Damn, y'all giving all these scores. I feel like it's going to be a lower score than people think. Well, well hold on, hold on. what's your Super Bowl MVPs? I mentioned mine. So what was yeah. yours, Rome? Pat, what y'all, do y'all think? Y'all niggas really think these niggas are just going to have no defense on the field? Like what the fuck going on? Like these niggas got defenses too, nigga. They're not just from the score, fucking thirty-five. Well, I mean, the, I mean, I, I mean, the Eagles really? have the Eagles, have, the Eagles I mean, have a strong defense, though. Like, I mean, our our secondary is strong. Like, I mean, but I think, my, but I think that highly of Mahomes to make something out of nothing. So that's, uh, that's, that, that that pass rush is going to be busy. That's going to be the factor. The pass yeah. rush. Mm-hmm. Right, not, I mean. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. I don't think y'all niggas gonna hit thirty. Everybody hitting thirty. Nah. I, I think it's gonna be a good game. I think just the Eagles though are the more talented team on both sides of the ball, like quarterbacks excluded. Um, you know, more better running game, better defense, better receivers. Um, 
you know, like they may not have a Kelsey, but I mean, Goddard's pretty good. Goddard I mean, is damn good. Like Goddard needs to get his flowers. Goddard has been, I mean, because you know, you know, ever, ever since coming back from that 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 crazy injury that the from the Dirty Commanders team, like dude has been on it. Like you know, like dude, dude, dude has been. Honestly, I am so glad we st- we we stole him from the Cowboys. <laughs> it's gonna they're gonna control the Eagles are gonna control the pace of this game. With the running, and I think there's gonna be a lot more running than than um, for the Eagles. They like to run a lot, so and this is a game where the, the the Chiefs aren't that great against the run, so I could see them easily running the ball a lot just to uh, get yardage and chew up the clock and just do passes here and there. I think we're, we'll see some pretty good games from the receivers, but I don't think there's gonna be a huge monster game from either guy. I, I think they'll do enough to get by. Um, I, I think the, the offensive line is going to have a little bit of an issue with the Eagles. The Chiefs offensive line is going to have a little issue with the uh, Chiefs set us, uh, the Eagles defensive line because they got some pass rushers and they're going to be coming at Mahomes, especially him being especially on, Reddick. <laughs> yeah, him being on one, yeah, him being on one leg. Yeah, Reddick's going to be all over the place. Yeah, Reddick so, is a fucking beast. Like he, he he might actually low key be the best pickup of the season. Yeah. Like, and, yep. And then the Philly has good secondaries, especially now that Maddox is back. So, yep. and with the uh, injuries at secondary, uh, that's not going to be that's not going to work out well for Kansas City. So, I think overall it's going to be a, it's going to be a good game, be a somewhat close game, but I think in the end the Eagles will win, and I'll score it twenty seven sixteen. Oh, that's a that's a that's a that's a fairly you know large margin, you know. So, but I I can dig it though. I can dig it. It's it's eleven points, so it's not. It's but but yeah. I think I think it'll be. It's not, I I don't think it's gonna be a one score game. It might be, but I don't think it will. Yeah, I mean for all I mean yeah, because Mahomes doesn't have any real like large like, games that he's except for except for the Bucks Super Bowl. You know he doesn't have like a lot of losses where he's lost by like two scores or anything like that. You know what I'm saying like. Wait, so yeah. hold on, Pete. Who who do you pick? I missed your. I heard the score, but who? What team did you pick? Eagles. 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 Okay. Two two. Then I think yeah, two two. What's going on? So, so yeah, Rome, so you and uh, you pilot, you and Rome picked the Chiefs. Yeah, no hard feelings, man. No hard feelings, but I just think Mahomes is destined for greatness. And sorry, I mean, like, like, like I said, I mean, it's not like you're saying like you say Justin Fields is gonna win or some shit like that. One last year, I'm, I, I've just been enjoying the year, enjoying the talent. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, in the end, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm, I mean, obviously, the Eagles win. But I, I am hoping for a classic game because, like I said, like you know, classic Super Bowl games, like we haven't had a really classic Super Bowl game in a while. Like, you know, it's like... Well, you know, like, well buckle your seatbelts, nigga, because you're in for one. Yeah, no, and I know, I know, I already know I'm going to be like, on the day of, I'm going to be like, okay, shit, what the fuck am I, what am I going to do? What the fuck am I going to eat? You know, speaking of that, like, do we have any um, premature, you know, have we prematurely started planning what you guys are doing for, for Super I have, Bowl? I have no idea yet, but I'm going to come up with something. Yeah, one of my people's just got a crib, a brand new crib. And uh, they they host him for the Super Bowl, and his his bitch from um, it's one of them Spanish countries, but she be walking around with a rapers and shit, nigga. We finna, <laughs> oh, yeah, boy, yeah, we finna eat good, nigga. She finna come with some chimichangas or whatever the fuck they be wrapping up with the beef and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Last year I went to Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't know what I'll do this year, yeah, nigga. Out. Don't go there again, nigga. Like stop with the Buffalo bullshit, nigga. Hey, what's wrong with Buffalo Wild Wings? Chill. Maybe the maybe ass wings is garbage, nigga. <laughs> you can do a lot worse than Buffalo Wild Wings. You actually can though, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I stopped going. Yeah, I stopped going to Buffalo Wings because pretty much every time I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, I take the, I bring the wings home and I still put them in the oven inners because I'm not I was not sure if they cooked them shits all the way like I wanted it to. So no, yeah, they not nigga. They making fifteen hundred wings an hour, nigga. They know them shits is not done in the middle. Yeah, and then you eat them shits, and then you know a couple hours later you have a splitting headache and you're puking in your toilet. <laughs> yeah, so uh, is this Buffalo Wild Wings or White Castle? What are we talking about? <laughs> no, but yeah. well, Buffalo Wild. I mean, White Castle just makes me shit. No, the, the you, gotta go some, you gotta go somewhere where they can only make twenty wings at a time, nigga. That way you know they're being cooked properly, nigga. 
Yeah, like, it, 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 and I love wing. I love, I love things, but I used to love them. But yeah, it's just like, yeah, if I have to keep, if I have to bring them home and put them in the oven myself just to make sure to cook in a way I'm satisfied, so I can eat them shits without getting sick. Like I'm good, you know, on Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, but yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't discussed. I mean, because because I know usually it's gonna be like, you know, I mean, the last time the Eagles won the Super Bowl, um, of course I had company. And, uh, my ex came over and she did all the. You know, she brought Popeyes and shit like that, and I had my I had my henny out and shit like that. Dude, that's a good bucket, a Popeyes bucket. God damn. Fuck yeah, no, yeah. I had, I, had, I had so yeah. much Popeyes that fucking that night. It was I I, I was sick of Popeyes. I had so much. I had, I had like all types of leftovers in my fridge, nigga. It was fucking ridiculous. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is yet. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna watch at someone's house or I mean. I mean, because uh, all the Eagles fans that I know, like in real life, like you know, they're out of state. You know, I either uh, unless I feel like go like driving two hours to their fucking house and shit for just for that, which I really don't feel like doing. <laughs> so it's like it's still up in the air on what I'm gonna do. I mean, I could just be, hey, you know, I could just chill out here and whatnot. But it's, so it feels like I shouldn't watch this by myself. So yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably, I'll, I'm sure I'll probably by. By next week, I'll, I'll have to. I'll figure out what I'm doing. That nigga, that nigga gonna dress up like little Uzi, put on the put on the Eagles jersey. Well, oh, yeah, you know, I, yeah, I have my Vic jersey. Yeah, I put, I'm gonna put on my <laughs> my Vic jersey, my Eagles hat. Drink out, drink out, drink coffee out, drink out of my Eagles mug mug in the morning for good luck, nigga. You know, dry off in an Eagles towel, nigga. I have all that shit, nigga. You know, it's gonna be an Eagles day, nigga. Nigga, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm a chief as soon as I wake up for good luck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> really I'm, honest, nigga. I'm a chief some shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Uh, like I said, because I mean, I know, I mean, I already know what's gonna happen. Like, if the Eagles lose, I already know uh, I might have to mute people on my Twitter. And- uh, you gonna, you gonna have to mute yeah, me. You're gonna, go, you're gonna go have to go MIA for a day or two. I'm gonna, yeah, you my, my phone's gonna blow the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna send you nothing but highlights, nigga, of the whole season. Yeah, all- it, <laughs> yeah, because I already know I've irritated a lot of people. With, with, I'm gonna send you with, my homes montage. That, yeah. This nigga gonna be mad as fuck. I'm gonna send you some my homes songs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mail you a jersey. Nigga, they ain't no Mahomes songs. That's that's the good thing too. Chiefs, Chiefs ain't that type of thorough like that to have good songs yet, like the Eagles do, nigga. No, there's a couple songs with Mahomes in it, nigga. Even fucking Migos got a song called Mahomes, nigga. I'll send it right to you. You want to hear it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I already know. Like, if the Eagles lose, I already know I'm gonna I'm gonna get all type of smoke, and and, uh, and I probably will. Just, I probably deserve it for for what I did over the what I've been doing since since September. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? But, That's why I hope these niggas don't win because the amount of geeks your ass gonna be if they win, nigga. You gonna send a hundred times the smoke to all of this. <laughs> yeah, I mean you got. I mean you got plenty of smoke in your in your inbox too. Like you know, like I'm I don't know what you think this is type shit, nigga. Like you know, yeah. you know what time it is. You you know I'm a shit talker. Nigga, I, my, I, team, my team won five games this season, and your ass was talking shit like you. Well, some, yes, nigga, like yeah, you were some other shit, nigga. Nigga, because you, your team wasn't ready for big boy football, nigga. Yes, yeah. So you had to. I, I had to talk some shit to you, nigga. It's fucked up, nigga. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I fuck it. Yeah, that's why I love football, man. I, I hate it because you know, once Super Bowl is over, then it's just like you know, we have to, I have to make my, I have to do things on Sunday, and I have to, I have to be, you know, yeah. like I have to do errands or something. like water the lawn and shit like that. Like it's a sad six months. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's basketball, yeah, though, but I don't, you know, but the, I mean, the NBA product for me is not all that yeah. great to watch. That shit don't matter till May anyway. Right, you know, so I, I got damn, I got I gotta find things to do with my time, you know, once football is over, man. So yeah, that's why it's like, you know, that's why Super Bowl you gotta cherish, you, know, you just you take in everything, the commercials, the halftime show, the you know, you know, that's for the plebes, you know what I'm saying? Like the ones who don't know you know, and then you know, the game for the real niggas, you know, not for the not for the L B niggas out there that be in the kitchen right now asking asking niggas if they want drinks and shit. <laughs> Nigga be out. Nigga will be in there humming I'll take, and shit. I'll take, four <laughs> ice I'll take four ice cubes in mine, please. <laughs> you know, LB, LB wasn't gonna go not to get some work before we get up out of here. He was. He had to get some work though, because 
you know, we're gonna shame this nigga into being a football fan. But until then, uh, this nigga's gonna get he's gonna he's gonna get these jokes, bro. Like, oh, hold on, right. real, real quick, Super Bowl MVP predictions. I'll go first, nigga. I got my homes, nigga, because they're not gonna give it to nobody else on that team. I mean, if, <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I, I I already said Mahomes for me. Nigga, if, a, if a nigga gets seven interceptions, they'll give it to Mahomes. Like it wouldn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I mean. To me, I think. It's, I mean, if her, uh, I, I think Hurts is gonna get it. I mm. honestly, I honestly do think Hurts is gonna get it. No, see, that's if Philly wins, anybody can get it on that team, nigga. That's that's the thing. They can they can give it to Boston Scott, nigga. That nigga well, get. Chris, Chris, I mean, Chris could have you know that like that. Um, Von Miller against Panthers. Uh, I mean, Von, Von Miller. Von Miller against Cam Newton Panthers type of shit. You know, he could have a, one of those games. I don't know. Maybe you know they probably give it to him there. Maybe they'd probably still give it to Pat. But. <laughs> yeah, I mean, cause, well, the Eagles have a lot of playmakers that could make a difference, especially in the secondary too. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the nigga in the secondary got it. You know, if he, you know, if he, if he picks off Mahomes like two or three times, or or I'm, Reddick or or yeah, Reddick back he, that nigga to some shit like that. Honestly, they probably already made the trophy with Jalen Hurts and Mahomes' name on it because they're not giving it to nobody else, regardless of what happens. Because mm-hmm. it don't. It, it's like the the quarterback situation is too big for them to be like, "Oh yeah, Dallas Goddard had three touchdown passes and 110 yards. We're gonna give it to him." Like the niggas would be like, "What?" The niggas, <laughs> the niggas will whoop his ass in the locker room. Like, yo, give me that trophy, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Like nah, they got it's either Mahomes or Hurts. It ain't it can't go to nobody else. Right, and and also too, because actually, the, shouldn't it be saying who's actually the, who's the regular season MVP? Like I'm excited. They don't they announce that shit before the Super Bowl. So like, no, now it's after. Now they do it after. I think that's weird. No, really? yeah, you know I mean like, regular like, MVP or, and Super Bowl MVP. I mean, I always thought they do it before they do the Super Bowl shit. How they, how they do it at like the what the like the sports awards after? It's like the week after the Super Bowl type shit. Oh uh, yeah, no, it says February 9th. I Google yeah, it. also three days after the Super Bowl. Two, three days before the Super Bowl, nigga. Not after. Oh, it's before. Yeah, so, so Super Bowl's the twelfth. Oh my fault. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, I mean, damn. Okay, well at least it's before because it's like that's that should that's like that should that, that wasn't making but, sense to me. But, but what is it? The SBs or what is it called? I don't. I don't think it's the SBs. It's just like you know who's the. I mean. No, it doesn't. NFL just usually announce that shit now on social media. <laughs> oh, it's just the NFL awards, right? Yeah, the NFL one. Yeah. I don't know what that shit's called, but uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, they yeah, all they do they just they just announce that shit like, yeah. uh, on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, like, or whatever. The award and all that shit. Yeah, all it knows is it's five cat. It's really now down to two. <laughs> so it's my homes or hurts. For the uh, MVP. For a regular season MVP, yeah. I mean, I think Mahomes still got it. I mean, you can't do that because they count in the postseason. Hurts was a close second. You know, Hurts was. I mean, I mean, he would have been a close second if he didn't get hurt. But you know, no, nah, definitely Lamar Jackson. They don't count the postseason for. No, they don't count the postseason. They don't count the postseason. Yeah, uh, Lamar Lamar Jackson was a fucking Houdini. Like that. Like it, that offense ran through that nigga more than fucking Hurts and Eagles did. Like that right. nigga was. Yeah, because when that niggas when that nigga went out, like that, that offense kind of sputtered into the playoffs, and they got eliminated like that. <laughs> same, same with Tua. That nigga had four touchdowns a game with like three hundred and fifty a night. Well, like, Tua's a little different. Tua, unfortunately, I think his his brain is addled now, and <laughs> like, like I mean, it, it, it's I mean, it's it's sad to say that. I'm not even joking, but it's like, dude. I mean, I don't think dude is not is not a quarterback for the long term, like. Bro is already taking three serious concussions like this season. Like, yeah, dude, dude, dude is like halfway done. Just get a bet, some better old linemen. Like, damn. I mean, if this nigga isn't careful, this nigga's gonna end up like fucking Altoon if he's not careful. Like, this nigga's like he. There's too many fucking concussions. Like, yeah, in a see, row. In city, I'm I'm from like the rival high school. I'm fucking. It sucks. But yeah, I mean, I know people are cheering them coming back. I'm like, bro, like the dude's brain is grabbed. One more hit, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, every time, every time, like, every time he goes ticking to the ground, I'm thinking to myself like one more hit. Like he's literally, uh, he's literally someone like I mean, and I think the Dolphins are low key. Like I haven't seen a Dolph- I haven't seen a team ruin a career like this since RG three. Like I mean, dude should have been like, 
Like, I mean, dude is, I mean, I honestly think two is in serious trouble. Like, there's, like, either, I mean, do they have to get, like, a different helmet or something like that? Or do next, next strengthen exercises? Like, you can't have, like, like, like honestly, I just, I just don't see, like, he's not going to play a full season next year. I mean, I mean, I don't even know what, this, what the situation is like now. I think he just got took off concussion protocol. Like, yeah, he's, he, yeah, he's off concussion protocol for now, so. Yeah, the season's yeah. over there, so. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, no, it's it, it's actually it's been you know a fucking great season though, and like I said, I just, all I can hope for is just Super Bowl. The Super Bowl just becomes culminates, you know, that great season, you know, and uh, yeah, man, and you know then after we say goodbye for football for about six, seven months. <laughs> yep. So yeah, I think that's about it. So. Yeah, I think we, we I think we, we we got we got our shit off on on the on this game and other related football talk and also some trash talk too. And of course, you know, LB had to get some get some bars too because you know, this nigga this nigga like, you know next year at gunpoint we're gonna make this nigga pick a team. Like, look, we're tired of this we're tired of this kitchen shit, you on nigga. Oh, he's, like, he's, he's uh, no, he's gonna end up picking the Dolphins. Good lord, no. <laughs> Wrong. That, that's that, that's what that's your, you, you got like you got. Well, I, I don't need any dolphins fans in this damn chat between us. Nah, I'm good. So, Yo, know, like Rome, tell him like he he can support the he can be a Jax fan. It's respectable to be a Jax fan now. Yeah, like, I would. Fuck sure that, I would if he was Jacksonville. I'd be like, okay, that's that's kind of wrong. Yeah, like yeah, because like, he because you know he has to he has to understand like he you know he has to he, he has to sit him down, make him watch a couple of games. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I, I don't nah. mean too. That's too good of a team because if a nigga nah, bro, he a I, Jax fan, I'm gonna be like, oh damn, he loyal, he he true to his fan uh, base, fuck with the niggas. I mean, the 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 irony of somebody from uh, Southern Florida screaming Duval, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be irony in and of oh, itself. Uh, remember when them niggas had that nigga Michael Drew, Maurice <laughs> Jones Drew. Oh yeah, Maurice Jones drew nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, it, it, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, and that and that dude was raw until he decided to play a whole season with a fucked up knee, and then afterwards he was no good after that. He yeah. produced on a bad knee for a full season, but then that 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 there's too much. Uh, yeah, I'm that, sure. that, was, that was my low key Madden team back in the day, nigga. I'll pick the Jags and run through niggas with that nigga. Dave Garrard. <laughs> Yeah, Dave Garrard, yo. Honestly, See, and then, I remember when Byron left, which was a I joke, know uh, Byron was my guy. Too bad he couldn't stay healthy. That Marshall game, man. But yeah, Byron and, was, and he couldn't, and he wasn't mobile at all. He was like, yeah, he mobile. wasn't. Yeah. Yo, he was they, the most yo, mobile they black did, quarterback I ever seen. Yo, they did Garrard dirty, dirty. The fucking Jags did him so fucking dirty. It was it was it was, it was, it was awful. You know, it was just like, and they got their karma for that shit too, because like, they sucked for years after what they did to him. <laughs> Blake, yeah, Blake, Blake Bortles, ugh. Yeah, <laughs> but even Blake Bortles is seeing an AFC Championship game. Dak, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, this is true. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, any more final thoughts? Pilot, you got any final thoughts? Uh, nah, you know, so got a good game. That's all I got. All right, cool. Bro? Uh, uh, this top five you already know what the fuck it is uh it's another good episode from ring game nigga tune in next week when you can see pat's team get ran the fuck through by patrick mahomes this <laughs> nigga right here i was trying to be hospitable for that comment nigga <laughs> yeah yeah, nigga. Next week you can see. Next week, tune in. We're gonna be doing a live stream, watching Pat cry after his team get up, nigga. <laughs> this and that's real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got any more final thoughts you want to tack on, Pat? <laughs> oh yeah, my Eagles are number one. Fly Eagles, fly. <laughs> Road to victory. Yes, sir. Eagles Nation. <laughs> uh, ho- hopefully, hopefully the uh, Icarus isn't in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are flying too close <laughs> to the sun, so because <laughs> we shining. That's what that's what it is, bro. We shining. You know, can't help it. 
<laughs> just don't just hurt. don't get too close to the sun, but you know. Ain't, ain't no Matty Ice action here, bro. Yeah. My whole, my whole podcast just still exists when my Bears make it to the fucking Super Bowl, nigga. I can't wait. Man, I, I hope I'm still alive when my Jets make it to the Super Bowl. Like, damn. <laughs> <don't>, <laughs> nigga, them niggas might get moved to a different city, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That'll never happen. <laughs> can't, can't, you can't leave New York. But they go, you know. they go call them shits the Rhode Island Jets, nigga. <laughs> oh my god, whatever. Oh shit. But yeah, I think that's about it for tonight. So, for myself, King P Bodega P, for Pat Scorpio, the New England representative, for Conscious Pilot, and for Rome Top Five, it's been another episode of Real Talk. When shit's real, we talk about it. So, until next time. Peace. Peace. Bye.